Thanks for joining me at Underwater Math. Let's review two-step real-world problems with addition and subtraction. Remember that there are key words that tell you whether you need to add or subtract. But some problems have more than one step. You might need to add then subtract, or subtract then add. You might even need to add twice or subtract twice. Let's look at a couple examples. Jimmy earned $237 mowing lawns in April. He earned $186 mowing lawns in May. He earned $204 mowing lawns in June. How much money did Jimmy earn altogether in April, May, and June? I see the word altogether, so I know that means I will have to add. That's right. We have three numbers to add though. Fortunately, in addition, the order does not matter. So we can add 237 plus 186, then add 204 to that sum. Or we can add 186 plus 204, then add 237 to that sum. We could also add 237 plus 204, then add 186 to that sum. One special thing about addition is that you can add more than two numbers at the same time. So let's try it. Add the digits in the ones place, the tens place, then the hundreds place. Don't forget to carry over any extra. Now we have found that Jimmy earned $627 altogether in April, May, and June. Let's try a problem that's a little trickier. Jimmy earned $750 mowing lawns over the summer. He spent $296 on a new TV and $342 on a new computer. How much money does Jimmy have left? Since it says, how much left, I know we need to subtract. That's right, but what is the total amount we have to subtract? We need to do another step first. First, let's add up how much he spent in all. So, 296 for the TV plus 342 for the computer. I'll start with the ones place, then add the tens place, making sure to carry over the one, then add the hundreds. So Jimmy spent $638 in all. Now, I can subtract 638 from the amount he earned, 750, to find how much he has left. I'll borrow a 10 from the tens place so I can subtract the ones. That gives me two. In the tens place, I now have four minus three, and that gives me one. In the hundreds place, seven minus six gives me one. Great job. Now we can see that Jimmy has $112 left. Remember to always look for keywords when you're solving a word problem. Then look to see if you need to do an extra step to get all the right information. Should we go mow some lawns now to earn extra money for ourselves?